Good morning, boys and girls. I just want to take this time to tell you how much I have missed you, and I hope we're back together soon. I also want to remind you before we begin today to please visit the Hamblin County Board of Education site at hcboe.net, and I would like for you to make sure that you look at the online curriculum for your grade level. You're going to find lots of cool stuff there, things for you to do, things for you to practice. Also, don't forget, you can find our reading board there. And if you complete the reading board while we're out and bring it back, you're going to be entered into a drawing for a prize. So please make sure that you're taking time to do that while you're at home right now. Today, I want to read a really funny book to you. But while we're reading, I want you to think about some things, some things that you've already talked about this year. I just want you to be thinking about them while we're reading. I want you to think about who our characters are in the story. I want you to be able to identify our characters. I want you to think about the setting of our story. Think about where the story happens and not just where, but when it happens. And I want you to think about the plot. Remember the plot of a story is what happens. We often break that into the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. So three things we're thinking about. We're thinking about who are our characters or who is the story about? What is our setting or where and when does our story happen? And what is the plot, the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story? Now, I told you that my story today was a funny story and it is. Our story today is called Pig the Pug. Look at Pig, he's kind of funny looking, isn't he? Yeah, he's got kind of googly eyes there. Look at Pig for a minute. What do you think his character's like? Do you think he's going to be nice? Do you think he's going to be mean? Do you think he's going to be friendly? Do you think he's going to be funny? Just look at his face for a minute. Hmm. I'm not sure about him. He looks like he could be a lot of things. Oh my goodness. It says, this book belongs to Pig. But I thought this book was mine. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Makes me wonder. Pig the Pug by Aaron Blady. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in most every way. <gasps> oh, no. Said he's greedy and selfish. Mm. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor. But when he was nice to him, I'll tell you, never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say, but Pig would just grumble, they're my go away. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both played together. Well, Pig flipped his lid. Oh, now that's a funny saying. Does Pig have a lid on his head like a pot? Hmm, no, I don't see a lid. That just means that he did not like that at all. It made him very angry when Trevor decided he wanted to share the toys. No, they are mine, didn't you hear? Only mine, you keep your balls off them. They are mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share, but I'll never do that. I won't, I swear. He does not seem very nice. Look at poor Trevor's face. And with 
fact, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig, now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh dear me, oh, watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, well, pugs cannot fly. What happened to him? Where did he go? What happened to his pile? Did it fall out the window? Mm -hmm. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Look at Trevor. He looks a lot happier, doesn't he? Yes, Pig shares his toys now and Trevor's his friend and they both play together. While pigs on the mend. Poor pig. He can't go anywhere right now. Poor pig. Did you think that was a funny story? I really like this story. I think it's funny. Now, if you are in kindergarten, I want you to get a piece of paper and a pencil. Okay, do you have it? I want you to draw me a picture of the main character. Remember, that's who the story's mostly about. And if you remember his name, I want you to write his name. You can go back and listen to the story again. I want you to draw me the setting and write the name of the setting. And I want you to draw me one thing that happened in the story and write one sentence about it. Tell me what happened. Now remember, you can go back. Now, my first graders, my first graders, I want you to write me three sentences. Your first sentence will be the beginning. Remember, the beginning tells me the characters in the setting. And then you're going to write the middle. Remember, the middle tells us how the problem is being solved. And then I want you to tell me the ending. What solved the problem? Now, my second graders, I want you to retell me the story. I want you to write me several sentences. Remember, that's three or more. And I want you to retell me about the characters, the setting, the beginning, the middle, the end, and be sure to include some extra details. If you would like, you can respond to me in the comments with your answers. I would love to hear from you. Before we leave, I want to remind you again, please go visit the Hamblin County Board of Education site at hcboe.net. You will find some more stories there that you can practice with character setting and plot. I look forward to seeing you soon and I miss you bunches. See you later.